Wrestling is a very competitive sport and a very physical one too. In fact, superstars sacrifice so much for their fans, putting their bodies on the line and taking career-ending injuries. In today's video, we will talk about 10 injuries in WWE history, which may force you to look away from the screen, so stay tuned. But before we continue further, I would like to kindly ask that you subscribe to our channel. The first injury we are going to talk about was suffered in a TLC tag team match between Kabuki Warriors, Charlotte Flair, and Becky Lynch in 2019. Charlotte crashed Carrie into a barricade, after which the latter came down on her neck. She suffered from a concussion and appeared woozy throughout the match. Interestingly enough, everyone noticed that she was injured except Becky. Seeing as the wrestler was significantly injured, the match should have been stopped. But this is something I want your opinion on, so feel free to comment down below. The next major injury was inflicted when No Mercy Caesar was in a tag team match in 2017. In this match, one of the worst injuries in WWE history was inflicted. The common thing about this match, and the one we talked about earlier, is that the referee did not stop the match despite the severity of the injuries. No Mercy Caesar was pummeled into a ring post which caused his front teeth to get smashed into his gums. What was more amazing about this is that the superstar managed to complete the match without being carried off on a stretcher. The wrestler had to go through a very detailed dental surgery to get his teeth fixed. Sometimes even the most well choreographed action sequences can go horribly wrong. My whole teeth were, um, yeah. For example, in the next instance, Sarah Logan kicked Dana Brooke a little too hard, which caused a violent impact with the ring post. Brooke started to bleed from her face and the referee immediately called off the match. It seemed that the superstar would not be able to finish. Fortunately for Dana, the accident was not a serious injury which would have compromised her career. Since we are on the topic of faces suffering violent blows, one such blow that most WWE fans remember was one that John Cena unfortunately experienced in 2015. We are talking about the Seth Rollins vs. John Cena Raw match. Right when the match was about to end, Rollins kicked Cena in the face, which actually broke his nose. Rollins said that he felt something pop after his kick had made the eventful contact. He said in an interview later on that he had felt something in his knee. He figured out later that it was not his knee, but Cena's nose. I wasn't sure if it was his nose or his eye socket because my knee covers, you know, quite a bit of space on his hip in his face. Despite the injury, Doctor of Thugonomics was able to win the match. Awesome job, John Cena. So we can stand toe to toe with John. He did a pretty damn good job. Yes, he did. For the next injury, we will talk about the one Nikki Bella suffered in 2013. The match was a six-person tag team match. Sometime during the match, Caitlyn pushed Bella into her twin sister, which made her crash into the ground, with most of the impact directed towards her shin. Okay, now this was a really big one, because right afterwards, the whole thing seemed deformed. It was clear that she had to be rushed to the ER immediately. That is not fun. After that, Nikki put her wrestling days behind her, at least for quite some time, and came back as another dynamic duo. Nikki again all fired up. Remember, she just returning to action following a serious shin injury. Now the next WWE injury is something no fan of WWE has ever forgotten. Back in 2006 Armageddon, there was a match that every hardcore fan still remembers to this day. This was Jeff Hardy's leg drop from a ladder. Unfortunately, the one who felt the impact was Joey Mercury, whose face was busted open. The wrestler had to be taken to the hospital immediately afterwards, but Armageddon continued. And although Mercury was able to start his career again, he wasn't able to perform as competently as before, courtesy of the injury he sustained. In another episode of Raw this year, Rhea Ripley went up against Nia Jax. During this battle, the latter somehow crumbled, leaving Nia's face bloody. Apparently, the bleeding was so severe that the referee had to use gloves, but Nia was able to complete the match, and there was nothing serious that would threaten her career. Now, the memorable fight between Mickie James and Trish Stratus in 2006 at WrestleMania 2022 was also very tragic. During the match, Mickie threw Trish off from the top of the rope, and she landed in a very weird posture, which led to a very serious arm injury. The match ended beforehand through disqualification. Trish could not wrestle for the next two months. Trish eventually came back at Unforgiven to compete against Lita. The famous Hall of Famer Beth Phoenix made quite an appearance at 2020's Women's Royal Rumble. In this match, everyone was expecting the fight to go smoothly, but when Beth Phoenix and Bianca Belair faced off against each other, things went awry. Beth Phoenix had hit the ring post hard, which resulted in it bleeding profusely. Fortunately for Beth, she did not suffer any long-term injuries. At some point during the match, Oksana pushed her knee into Naomi's left eye. Now you can imagine that putting a knee to someone's eye can be excruciatingly painful, and that was probably what Naomi must have felt. In an interview afterwards, Naomi said that she felt her eye go back into its socket after she was kneed, and that was the most painful experience of her life. 
Naomi had to wear an eye patch for quite some time. Oksana had to go to therapy for her knee, which suffered quite a jolt. And apparently, she had to attend daily rehab sessions. Getting around knee injuries can be tough, as the progress can be at a snail's pace. This concludes today's video featuring the most bloody injuries suffered on WWE. Feel free to comment below about which of them seem the most shocking to you. Thanks for watching to the end, we'll catch you in the next one. Also, do not forget to give the video a big thumbs up.